There it was. Here we go. This is it. We're rolling. We're rolling, John Dore. This is episode 408 of No Laugh Track Podcast. We are here. Uh, it's a Thursday afternoon. Nobody cares about that. All they care about is that we're here at Acme and we're chatting about you and about comedy. And here we are, John I think Dorn. it's important. It's context. You know, it's a Thursday afternoon. The sun is shining outside. It's uh, weather's getting better. It's improving. Tomorrow's going to be beautiful. Saturday's going to be gorgeous. Yeah. If you yeah for yeah. for rock for the record, we are in between seventy five degrees uh, on Monday and uh, maybe seventy on the weekend, and then thirty right in the middle here. So yeah, welcome to Minnesota. No, we're we're getting up there. Well, I think Friday's going to be nice, and then Saturday, I think we're getting up to like sixty something. Are we Come not? on. Are we not? I think so. I checked the weather. Yeah. yeah. That's well, good. Let's, good. let's be happy with that. Don't I, wait for Monday. Enjoy Friday. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. I'll, I've always said that. Don't wait for Monday. <laughs> Enjoy Friday. And uh, Sunday. Unless it's Saturday, then wait for Monday. Wait a enjoy minute. Enjoy that before Friday. But then, enjoy Friday. Don't uh, wait for Monday. Uh, yep. Yeah. What day does the new week start? Monday or Sunday? Well, I, I say Monday. Uh, but, yeah, I, I think most people might say Sunday. I'm, I'm not, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know calendars. I'm 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 co-parenting a seven-year-old at the moment. Uh huh. My voice cracked. Did you hear that? Are you? Yes, I am. And just leave it. Okay. <laughs> um. So her calendars that she's learning from start with Sunday as the first day of the week. Um. My but- wife works at a uh, logistics. You know where they do. You know, like that, like that uh, big ship that was stuck in the Suez Canal earlier this week. Never heard. No. What What, what do you mean? There was a giant. Yeah, no. yeah, you know. Yeah, there's a giant uh, yes. ship stuck that yes. affected her job. This the Garland. Not, this is just a side. I didn't know what was the name of the ship. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Why am I thinking the Garland? Ever, something. The Ever. Everlast. Everlast. Yeah. Was so, it Everlast? No. Everclear. Everclear. Ever. Yeah. Sure. Swim uh, out past the breaker. Watch the world die. That's pretty much what was happening. Watch the what world was it? Die. Ev- yeah. Anyway. Yeah. I know it was stuck in the Suez Canal. They were able to free it, uh, thanks to some high tides. Mr. Moon, we appreciate it, or Mrs. Moon. Oh, I don't know. And uh, it's Man in the Moon. You, oh, okay. we all know that it's Man in the Moon. Yeah, but that's part of a patriarchal design, um, and I don't think we're to re- it, well rewriting history. I don't think it's the Man in the Moon anymore. <laughs> that's why we're here today to discuss. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and just side. So anyway, that, uh, my my wife does that for a living. She like uh, keeps she, track of where things. She she drives a ship. She's a captain. She, no, she uh, sits at a desk and you know keeps track of where these shipments are coming from. Oh. Whoever from wherever to the United States. Gotcha. Okay. So that uh, affected her job. But anyway, I'll, I'm I'm just rambling to get to the point. Where she got a a uh, calendar from her work for me this year, and yes. it starts on Sunday and not Monday or the other way around. And I can't, it throws me off. No, I think day. it starts on Sunday. Okay. Like Sunday. the calendar starts on Sunday, goes Sunday to Saturday, yeah. S to S, and then, yeah. It throws me off. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's look at, let's, let me look at my, right now, this is great for people listening and watching this. I'm going to look at my I calendar. No, okay. I am. And, um, it's, yeah, Sunday to Saturday. With Monday. That's right. What? Hers starts with Monday. It's okay, not so like hers... a normal calendar. And oh, it throws me off. So when I write dates in, I'm like, I have to double check. Well, so you got to look up at the letter. So let me go through this. <laughs> M, M is Monday. T the first T is Tuesday, W is Wednesday, T H capital T um, uh, little H little H lowercase. lowercase thank you capital T little H uh, F this is, is like Friday a kid learning the letters big letters the yeah big and I have no business teaching a seven year old any of this but um, yeah yeah How, which uh, is what I which what I've been doing during this pandemic up in Alaska yeah I never thought I'd move up to Alaska now stuck in a pandemic educating quote unquote a seven-year-old what uh what topics but when her mom's at work what topics are a seven-year-old doing for school well i mean this is important learning this is reading this is uh mathematics this is like low level stuff but very important so yeah The, the big thing is getting her excited about learning and um yeah just wanting the desire to want to sit down and read and learn at home yeah, that's a huge challenge mm-hmm. because she doesn't associate home with learning. Although, well, not to the degree that she's been forced to this year. It's usually school where she would learn and socialize. And now home is fun. It's support. It's learning. It's absolutely everything. And when it's time to like put something down and pick up your homework, yeah, it, it's not easy. Uh, but I, when her mom's at work and it's just me there, um, I mean... I. The benefit is I can smoke in the house when I do it because <laughs> her, her mom doesn't allow it. So I, uh, there are some perks to it. 
That is, it's just, it is a throwback. Teachers used to have the smoking lounges inside the school. Yeah, as it should be. Do you constantly have coffee breath? Like a classic teacher? Yeah. yeah that's good. Yeah, the classic teachers, some of my teachers had alcohol in their breath. Oh. They did, yeah. Uh, no, yeah. I grew up in Minnesota, not Canada. Yeah, yeah, so well, in Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, Brookfield High School, a couple teachers, won't name them, but uh, yeah, they, they'd go out to, what was the diner? It was that Prince of Wales? and uh metal ends liquid lunch you're saying mm -hmm. yeah then have a couple wobbly pops and then come back to school yeah one was my english teacher <laughs> it's a shop teacher the one-handed shop teacher oh, don't do that that's a true story <laughs> um and um mr yeah. smith yeah no he he could he he, he didn't drink at lunch <laughs> what do you think of today is april fool's day he the wanted to recording but he couldn't pick it up what's that today's april fool's day yes it is yeah Mm -hmm. What did did you do? You have any history of pranking people on April Fool's Day? Not really. There was never like an April Fool's Day thing. I tried. I think I tried a couple of things with my parents, like classics, like uh, Saran Wrap on the toilet bowl stuff. But Love it. Not, none of it worked. Love it. Yeah. Love but it. No, no, no real planks, pranks on uh, April first. But uh, yeah, I definitely enjoy some pranks. Yeah. Yeah. How about like a prank show? Do you like watching prank shows? Well, I used to be on a prank show called Scare Tactics. I did uh, oh, a right. season of Scare Tactics. So there were some good ones there. We made a guy feel like he was going to die. How? how? How did we make him feel like he was going to die? It's a really good one. So uh, we were, he, he thought he was coming to be part of the whole setup of it's very interesting and in how these people get involved, but I won't bore everyone with the details, but they legitimately believe this is happening. So he thinks he's going to be part of a prank show himself an internet prank show so he shows up and i'm there to greet him um looking absolutely creepy and i hand him a t-shirt and we get him in a vest i tell him he's going to be an employee of mine and i want him to go downstairs and he's going to scare an employee uh, of another employee of mine so he is going to do what we're about to do to him which is how we i i, I think justify getting away with terrorizing this individual so he goes downstairs and i say he's he's working on a sink and we need you to say you're going to pull a gun out <laughs> and you're going to say, give me all your money, give me all your money or you're going to die. And then the way it works is the character uh, played by my friend Aaron Eves, he turns around and he's duct tape or he, he's a, a handcuff to the sink and he's wearing the same shirt that Jimmy, the guy I just gave the shirt to, is wearing. So Jimmy's supposed to think, oh, no, this guy is a victim of what I'm about to be a victim of. Oh my God. And then I come in with a butcher knife and a bloody apron. And this was terif terrifying. But yeah, he thought he was going to die. But once you have him spinning, you don't let them go. So once uh, he, he feels that way and he's backed into a corner, literally and figuratively, um, I we had him dance for his life. Um, and he asked about his friend who dropped him off, who's also in on the prank. Sure. But he doesn't know that. And I said, oh, don't worry, we've taken care of her. He got very upset, and that's where he realized he's probably here forever. Oh, my God. Yeah. And then we brought Gerhard, um, great actor. Um, he came out of a doghouse in bondage gear and approached him with a leather mask on, and we made him give Gerhard a compliment. <laughs> what? And then a disco ball spun, and the lights went down. And he danced for his life. Was that the number one rated uh, show on television that day? I don't know. It was fun, though. Coors Light exclamation point on that story. So anyway, yeah. Uh, and then at the end of that, you go, uh, just kidding. <laughs> and his friend Good comes. Prank, everybody, his right? friend comes back in, and you. They edited that one. This one was genuinely terrifying because he was scared. So, uh, he punched this cabinet. The uh, uh, we had a, like you set dress the place to hide cameras, etc. Sure. So there was a um, uh, uh, a metal. Um, what are those? Uh, like a file filing cabinet. He punched that with all of his might, and he was quite mighty this day. And as adrenaline makes you mighty. Sure. So he could have lifted a car. Uh, but he didn't. He punched a filing cabinet. And then his friend came in saying, just joking. And uh, he was talked down a little bit and everything was fine. Mm -hmm. Was uh, Were the the scare tactics used on the show, were you behind planning them? No, no. So, um, no, my friends, actually, Adam and Dave, uh, who I work with a lot, they were directors on that season. And a mutual friend of ours was producing the show. He's one of the co-creators of the show. 
and so that's how I got involved. Uh, but uh, no, the directors and the producers come up with these concepts, and then you run through the scenario. So you run through it several times before people, you know, arrive. And yeah. then you, you, depending on how it goes, he was the first one we did that day, and it worked so well we didn't have to redo it with anyone else. Um, so those people get called off, and we tell them, you know, hey, sorry, the job's been filled, type of thing. Do you think that there should be like someone that uh, follows up with the subjects to this for to check for PTSD? Psychologi psychological later reasons. On? Okay, so uh, further down the road, um, you, you actually have a follow up. Do I? Yeah. Do I follow up? No. Do you do you actually have a? This is amazing. Keep. I'm sorry, I cut you off. Keep going. Well, no, I mean we have a psych a, a, a therapist anyway on set, and we have uh, a medic, of course, and they're always you know. Yeah, they're debriefed afterwards. Until sure. you're done with them and you send them Their home. heart rate is always spiking. I bet. Like, always. Um, and I always talk to them afterwards. I'm so curious. Like, you know, is he okay? And to me, it's like, he was, he was pretty scared. Yeah. He was up there. <laughs> Jesus. His heart rate was up there. Um, but that's not a bad question because if you were, the, the, the rule was you were never allowed to let someone leave without them knowing this was all a prank and a joke. And well, some sure. of them don't work at all. Trust me. Like it is hard to get a really convincing prank working. Like some of them, you, you, they have to be profiled properly. So they think they're being interviewed for something else. And yeah, then yeah. months later they get called and they when completely their forget. Down. Their guard is down and they think they're maybe going to be involved in like an audience member for a show. And then they get asked a lot of questions. And so if someone is um, hyper-religious Catholic, for instance, they might be more appropriate for a demonic possession sure. scare, scare yeah. prank. Um, yeah. Because chances are, not always, but chances are, they, they might be more likely to believe that someone is possessed. So that's, you'd have to profile these people, the marks, properly. Find a good mark. My mother-in-law tried to make me a mark this morning. What did she do? Text message here. I'm going to read it to you. Hey, uh, congratulations. Capital letters. This sounds good. Ash. That's my wife, Ashley. Ashley just gave me the good news. So happy for you guys. Maybe you'll finally have a son. <laughs> so, um, but did you, you didn't buy this. No. There's no way that, yeah. It's funny though. You know why? Where, where did your mom come up with it? Well, here's the thing. My my wife works from home. I'm downstairs this morning prepping to talk to you today. Oh, boy. Yeah. So far, this so is, good. This, this yeah. is, I prepped for this, John. Yeah. What we're doing right now. And um, my, my, my mother-in-law comes over to watch the baby. So mm -hmm. She's providing daycare. My, my wife is also upstairs working from home because of COVID. Right. Yeah. So I don't know. They were probably up there planning it that's together. Fun. Oh, that no, that's guessing. cute though. I love that. Yeah, camaraderie. That's that's fun. Because I I when I saw it, I just wrote back and said, "Ha ha, happy April Fools!" And then when I came upstairs a little bit later, I laughed again. <laughs> the prank's still going. <laughs> yeah, like, she's now eight months pregnant. <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah. How have you not noticed? This is real. Uh I, I may maybe would have been fooled for a half a second if. Uh, my wife's uh, menstruation didn't just happen last month. I mean, last week, pardon me, last week. So I knew that those two things can't happen at the same time. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, Mom. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a little little thing called science that fucked you over. Yeah. Yeah. You should have done your research before you tried to trick me. Yeah, first question. When, what, yeah. Mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. so, yeah. Who says, husbands, don't pay attention to that stuff. Yeah, that boop, yeah. yeah. Well, I don't know if people do, do they? I, I mean, we pay attention. I'm not a husband, but I am a partner. Sure. Yeah, I don't like the term husband. Like, it doesn't mean you're any Wait, better what? than I am. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm a partner of someone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. My relationship is no better than yours Thank necessarily, you. just because we Thank you. made it legal. Thank you. Yeah. And yeah. I, I, May, it probably is. Better. I mean, it probably I don't, is better. Right. I'm going to assume it is, but I, we don't know. No. Just based <laughs> it on. is. You've assumed correctly. <laughs> you're doing well. Yeah. I'm smoking while teaching a, uh, a seven year old math. And not well. Uh, you know what she said the other night before I uh, put her to bed? I was, tried to leave the room while she's in bed, and she she, she can't be left alone. Uh, she goes, what? John, John, John. And I turned around. She said, do you know sharks don't have bones? That's all she said. Oh. And I don't know if that's true or not. I didn't bother looking it up. I said, oh, thank you. That When she asked you, that I like that. She so, didn't ask me. She told me. No, I, I know. Oh, no, she did say, did you know? So, yeah. Okay. So, along those lines, when she says, John, you know, why is... You know something. Uh, you know why is the sky blue? 
do you and if you don't know the answer do you just make something up or do you guys go look it up together or? i would we would i would look something up together if we didn't know absolutely i wouldn't pretend to know or i would be silly to the point where she knew i was being silly and then we would yeah okay or i'd say why do you think it is and then i would say well i'm not sure let's go investigate sure and that just uh, brought up something to mind of what and sometimes I, if i tell her the truth she won't accept it anyway she'll go no that's not why isn't that like it's, fun? It's because of something else, and it's usually something mystical. No, it's annoying. <laughs> you just accept a fact and move on. You you don't know. Oh no, I think it's fun when I like mess with my kids and you know. Uh, How many to... kids do you have? Three. Three. Okay. Yep. Fourteen. Fourth on the way. Joking. 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 What do you? Yeah. Twelve. No. Nineteen months. Fourteen, twelve, and nineteen months. Those 14, are fourteen 12. years. Yes. Twelve years. Oh. Nineteen months. I knew this. We yeah. talked about this last time. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you had a newborn. Yeah, because that's right. We were here last year mm -hmm. on Febu in February. Mm -hmm. She was uh, 12 months younger. Or 13 that's months right. Younger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you I totally math. forgot. Yeah, because there was a massive. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Discrepancy in age. Yes. Yes. <laughs> discrepancy. Well. Yeah. Maybe discrepancy is not the best. Well, it's, it works. <laughs> sure. Let's let's say let's call it a discrepancy. Here. It it absolutely works. There's but a dis. I, okay. I'm. I, we need to talk about your hilarious TV show that no one in the United States can watch, but I watched it because I d used a VPN. Oh, you did. Good for, for the you. first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So first, we'll talk humor resources. Humor resources. Humor. Oh, am yeah. I mis? Am I no, mis not at all. Sing it. I didn't say that at all. You, what, what's just ask me the name of the show. Humor resources. Humor resources. That's right. Yeah. You uh, in America when you eventually when it's aired here, well, I, I assume that's happening someday. I, will the you in humor be removed? Okay, so in Canada and Britain and most of the civilized and, world, and I people, mean the second you, not the first you. Yes, humor is spelled for those who don't know H U M O U R, and then in America you drop the U, which actually makes more sense. But um, humor resources is a television show we made with the, the help of the uh, Canadian Broadcasting Corporation, uh, Canada's finest, uh, government funded. Uh, partially. Um, and so we made a show in Canada and uh, it's called Humor Resources. If we were to sell it to the States, and there's no guarantee we will, um, but to know the U will stay. We will not remove the U. Okay. Oh, Canada. Our, our home. I don't remember. The rest is in French. I don't remember. But um, yeah, it'll be called Humor Resources, like the band City and Color. They don't change their name when they oh. tour in the United States. They're still color with a U. In Living Color. Sure. In Living Color. I don't know if they used the U. I don't remember. Remember the of band in Living they Color? Didn't. In Living Color? But they're not Canadian? No. Or, or British? No. Mm -hmm. um, the show, so I've watched. The band, the band Bush. You remember the band Bush with uh, Glycerine? Bush. That's right. What about them? So, in Canada, for a while, They're because there was a band else? called Bush. No. Yep. So, they were called in Canada, no joke, Bush X. Yeah. Research it if you like, but it's true. Bush Light. They were still called Bush, but I think technically they had to promote the show as Bush X. I see. Mm. So, I want to say that uh, I used a VPN. I've never used one of those before. Yeah. For people who don't know, I'm going to give my uh, rudimentary description. It's a way to trick the... Uh, trick things into thinking you're using an IP address, not where you actually are. Mm -hmm. So, like, I live in Minnesota. I set it to make it think that I'm watching out of Canada. Mm -hmm. And then, doing that, I could log into CBC Gem. That's right. And I watched three of the six episodes of Humor Resources so far. This is very flattering. Yeah. Yeah. Why did I stop after three? No. Okay. Well, we could go there. Um, well, let's start there. It's just a pause. I haven't stopped. Okay. Just a pause. I'll get to him. You probably, well, it doesn't matter. But um, yeah, th this is great news, by the way. So the VPN was fine, installed fine, everything yeah. works. And, and I, like I said, I'd never yeah. used one. I yeah. uh, paid a few bucks to use one. I didn't know if I even needed to do that. It was probably free ones. I don't know. I paid a few bucks. Yeah, it works slick. And then I was watching, and then afterwards, I went on Twitter, and I hadn't changed the Canada setting. Oh. And it started giving me. Uh, news like uh trending news out of canada what a different experience yeah I love and it. it was telling yeah. me like uh it was like the, some of the headlines were uh you know how are the maple leafs gonna you know be the rest of the season how are yeah. the blue jays gonna be uh there's yeah. a new lockdown coming in uh, ontario or something and that for the next month 
Possibly, yeah. yeah. But yeah. isn't that interesting? Very. I love it. Yeah. Well, so geo these geo blocked regions that you have found a way to navigate. Yeah. Good for you. Yeah. You're a MacGyver here. I love it. In Canada, of course, we grew up with Canadian content. We'd we'd you know we had to make shows that had you know Canadian components to them sure. specifically and good you know otherwise we'd be completely run over by we're a smaller population and we could just absorb american media so uh it's very interesting though to know like really what's keeping us a little bit different and guided and molded is you know what we're exposed to yeah absolutely. not in every sense but in this particular way of absorbing media yeah so imagine what who you would be if you just absorb canadian media should I do that as a, like a as an experiment, as see how you change. See if your wife notices a change. Yeah, <laughs> just give her Be a like fucking communist. Hey, did you see what's happened down on uh, and like start using street names in Toronto yeah. and stuff? Yeah, well, that your <laughs> accent changes. Yeah, you know what you love and uh, your morality might change as well. Oh, Who knows? What are you trying to say now? Your moral compass might whoa, shift slightly. Whoa. What, are you... what? Your moral compass might shift. Who knows? From getting news from Canada, possibly. Wow. Well, maybe maybe it'll be your morale. I'm not saying it will improve. I'm oh, saying it okay, could okay. shift. I, I don't know why you, you meant, immediately I, assume something negative. Because you were saying it. <laughs> because I was saying it. I, yeah, someone bored I don't like that assumption now. <laughs> Whatever I say, it, my goodness. Okay. I thought we had a better relationship than that. I, hu humor me with another question. I'm going to humor, humor you with something else about the show. Mm -hmm. It, it, ties, it ties in with what I was just saying, what I was saying to you a few moments ago about what if Emma asks you about something and you don't have the answer. Yeah. Uh, in one of the episodes I watched, mm -hmm. you were not using technology and ended up uh, yes. <laughs> Dewey Decimal System going mm -hmm. to the <laughs> library. That's right. Yes. <laughs> like we used to do. That's right. So in, in one episode, <laughs> I'm frustrated with technology, but in the inter for people who don't know, the show is broken down into I'm a human humor, human resources manager for stand-up comedians, and the idea is that it would be ridiculous to expect people who operate in this creative world to answer to corporate rules and to assume that everyone every joke should not offend and it should be a very inclusive environment. Yeah. It's just an impossible task and an impossible thing to ask of creative people. Yes. So we thought that would be funny. So the interviews are very funny, in my opinion. And then the storyline that surrounds them is working within the pandemic. So shot from every device that occupies our lives. Like every shot is motivated, motivated by like an Alexa device on the kitchen counter or a laptop computer or your cell phone. And um, yeah, in one episode, I decide it's time to get rid of, I'm not going to use technology because uh, my girlfriend is cheating at Scrabble by looking up words. And I assume that technology is the problem. <laughs> so then going to get food uh, with Emma, I decide, or no, oh, sorry, before I get food, sorry. Uh, I decide I'm going to the library. And um, is that the food episode as well? Is that a different one? Oh, it's a different episode entirely. Oh. Never mind. So no. Um, so yeah, I decided to go to the library when she asked me if Pluto is a planet. That's right. Yeah. Because I decided not to use my phone. Yeah. Is yes. it or not? Is it still? Is it yeah. not? Yeah. Yes. And it shows how difficult it was to you know take a child, put her in the back seat, buckle her in, get to the library, take a book out in the rain, get her back in her car seat, only to find out that no, it's now a, it's been down downgraded to a dwarf planet. <laughs> yes. And her reaction is, hmm. <laughs> all that work. Yeah. And I believe I ex I explained to her that uh, we were going to use the card catalog. Um, but then I didn't want to tell her too much about it because I had read that uh, 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 Dewey um, uh, was an anti-Semite. <laughs> um, in past, so like last year when you when we did the pod podcast with me here, we did talk about some of the Instagram videos you were doing with Emma. Emma's we did. Your, okay. Emma's your girlfriends, your your significant others, your roommate, however we're saying it, your non wife, chick, chick, my chick. Dude. It's your chick's daughter. My fuck chick's daughter, dude. It's your fucking chick's daughter. Um, yeah, my girlfriend's daughter. I say I say girlfriend. My girlfriend calls me her partner, and I say girlfriend. Um, and sometimes I say partner, but um, I think there's a romance to girlfriend. Mm -hmm. um, at least for me, I think there's a romance there. Sure. Innocent, fun, lovely. Mm -hmm. That's how I see her. Oh. Yeah. 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 What's Emma's the great. Oh no, What's I was going to. Is, is Emma's <laughs> Emma's great? But from those, uh, in, I mean, I remember I complimented you, and I, I was a huge fan of those videos you were doing with her okay. on Instagram. You're in the car, screwing mm -hmm. with her. You're at home, messing with her. Mm -hmm. uh, and now you got her to act on a TV show. Well, it was interesting. The TV show we were either going to 
like was I was I going to go back to Canada and do this show because it is a CBC production and we could justify getting more tax credits if I was in Canada. Oh, yeah. Um, and then, but it was unsafe to travel. And so when we pitched the show, uh, you know, I had to talk to my co-creators and the directors, Adam and Dave, Adam Brody, Dave Derlini. And um, yeah, we thought let's lean into these videos that I do with Emma and we'll write to their strengths because Emma's not, an actor traditionally, but um, we would, uh, yeah, we took a risk including them in the show in that we weren't completely sure how a set would run anyway when shooting in a pandemic. Sure. And then how they would perform as actors, not used to being on set and what's required. So yeah, we went, we kind of had to go with the flow of it and massage things, but they were so wonderful. So, uh, so has she seen it uh, aired on television? I mean, you live in Alaska. Are you using a VPN in Alaska to watch it at home mm -hmm. with your house? No, I. So, so I. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but I'm in the show, and I help create it and write it. So, I. I have the episodes. Uh, no, like, no. I have I'm digital... talking about when there's the commercials playing, and it's no. like coming up next on no. CBC. Well, this is the thing. A Emma doesn't know what commercials are really. Oh, like good. she sort of sees them on YouTube when she That's watches right. some videos, but it's a totally different thing. Those so kids she, don't, yeah, kids don't know about commercials. Kids don't know about commercials. They don't know nothing. They, they, they know very little about anything if you ask them. <laughs> well, they know lots of stuff. It's just none of it's true. <laughs> That's a huge problem. It, it needs to be fact checked. Fake news. <laughs> but um, so she doesn't know about commercials really. But no, she she doesn't even really necessarily need to watch it or want to watch it. Sure. Like she would be so distracted. I love that. But I've, I've shown her many things. Yeah. If you go on like uh, IMDb for the show, mm -hmm. it lists her. It as, oh no, really? Yeah. It says, I hadn't even thought of that. Yeah. yeah it says Emma Love. Some, yes. Some, right? Yeah, that's yeah. correct. Emma is, Love Hill. Yeah. Yeah. Is no Hill? Eva Love Hill. Emma, Emma Love Hill. Yes, that's what I read. She's Emma now an actor. Love Hill is an actor known for humor this is resources. Making me, this is making it, me very happy. Yeah, it yeah. really says that online. Well, I'm proud of her because she, this was, you know, this was her listening to instruction, pretending to, like having conversations with her about acting and what acting is. And it's a concept that isn't easily grasped necessarily unless you're, you know, at a young age, you know, want to get in this field and go through this training, but she just does it naturally. And we had lots of conversations with her, like, this is what's expected. Is this something you want to do? And you're going to be on TV and then, you know, conversations with her mom. Is this something we want for her? And so, yeah, to see her want to do it and do it. And since then want to continue doing it. And I think the route to go is, well, go explore lessons and see if acting and theater is something you would enjoy. Um, but yeah, she's, She's great, but that's very interesting. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. You have to show that to her. She has her own time. IMDb page. Uh -huh. Well, she won't be able to read it. <laughs> oh. She'll know her name, but she won't know what IMDb is. Well, Teacher John. Uh oh. Maybe you better help out with that. Well, I don't that's have, incentive I don't, I don't, to learn. I don't to have read. a lot of time. That's incentive to learn to the read. The world's opening up. I'm back on the road, dude. Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro. How would you have done uh, if you were left on your own to uh, do distance learning? Let's say, like, as 16-year-old oh. John Doerr. 16-year-old? Yeah. Oh, no, it would not have happened. It wouldn't have happened? No, I no. would not have learned anything. Yeah. No. I mean, I didn't learn anything. I mean, no. I was not interested in learning. <laughs> From the age of 15 to 18, I just, no. It, wasn't, it, it was not about learning. Mm -hmm. 14, you would have been on the border? Yeah, I would have been on the border. I was really? still kind of interested in school or at least knew that it was important to participate and learn and listen. And uh, if I wanted to continue playing basketball, there were rules that were enforced at home. So I had to. Oh, sure. You know, in the school, of course. And then, yeah, just, uh, yeah. But 11th grade, things started to just teeter. And then eventually, yeah, things didn't go too well after that. For my high school, let's say I, I finished graduating high school in uh, through summer school and night school to get my credits. You did, um, yeah, yeah. I wanted to experience all the different ways one could earn. A, uh, <laughs> Were you ever? Excuse me. I wanted to experience all the different ways one could learn. One could earn a high school diploma, and uh, I chose to uh, investigate uh, summer learning and uh, evening learning. And which one was your favorite? <laughs> oh, night school is easy. Yeah, I bet. Oh, they don't give a shit. <laughs> no, summer school was very difficult. That was third third level of Glebe High School. I don't believe any uh, air conditioning in the summer either, and it was hot. 
and uh, early mornings, long days, and yeah, biology. So lots of definitions crammed into a short amount of time and tests, and yeah, it was yeah. very difficult. Yeah, no. I kind of thanks. recommend it in a way because it's intensive learning, like uh, a good summer school course. I mean, it's gonna fuck with your summer, no question. But I mean, if if you've got to get that credit, it's not bad. I suppose. Yeah. I took evening classes when I was in college. I enjoyed those a lot. You took which? Evening. evening oh, evening. evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classes. Okay. Yeah. 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 Like so, uh, they would start at what time? It would be three hours, like six p.m. to nine p.m. But once okay, a week, yeah. you just kind of, you know. I kind of liked the feeling of settling into class at night mm -hmm. and leaving late, and there was the option to kind of do something. I don't know. It felt very mature for some reason. It fooled me. Oh, well, along those lines, it was also the opportunity to, to share classes with uh, like real adults. You know, I mean, I'm 18 in college, and then all of a sudden there's the you know 32 year old and 40. Are you talking old. college? I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, I'm talking college, about like high, high school. Yeah, no, yeah. I I know I I did well in high school, so I can't, you did well in high school, so I can't relate to what you how things were for you. I did really well. Oh my goodness, there's a there's a certain <laughs> stigma associated with going to summer school and night school. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and what were your grades? Uh, here's the thing. I did really well, and then it led to I don't care shit. about grades. I, I don't care. I don't I, care about. I graduated grades. with a over four point oh GPA. In high school. I don't even know what a GPA is. Grade point average. I don't even know what those words are. Grade point average. Oh, oh. It's probably what you know it as. Average. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I know it as that? <laughs> and uh, I was born in Canada, not Istanbul. Oh, no, sorry. sorry. What accent were you doing? <laughs> yeah. 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 Turkish. Average. Turkish. Yes. Irish is what you're doing, I believe. But yeah. Go and ahead. um. It, it didn't lead to anything, right. um, but I, I... What do you mean it didn't lead to anything? It means... It led to your ability to speak to me right now and be concise and take notes. Sure, sure, sure. You, yes, yeah. Well, no, no, no. It's that, a cumulative... I don't know if... To I, focus I don't and know. concentrate? No, I, okay. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know. I, I accept that. I, 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 I... This is the first time I've been serious all day. <laughs> I genuinely believe that your your academic career in high school serves you well today. Mm, I'll, I'll go with it, but oh, you need more convincing. That's fine. We'll leave it for now. You Maybe know what? A year from now. A year from now, we'll continue that part of this conversation, and I'll bring my uh, college transcript, and then we'll compare the high school one to the college one. Oh, that'll be fun. I can bring you mine. Yeah, my high school one's pretty disturbing. Yeah, if uh -huh. we still have it. Yeah. yeah. And I, I can, uh, I got, I'll just, I'll say this. I got one, one. I went to college for four years. I got one A mm -hmm. and it was a mistake. I stopped attending, literally stopped attending that class. Right. I didn't do the final. Right. I didn't turn in assignments. This is great. I got an A. And you didn't say anything about it? Nothing. Perfect. Yeah. Good for you. Thank so you. you did learn something in high <laughs> yeah. school. Keep yeah. your mouth shut. Shut up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mistakes are okay. Yeah. Uh, so we we should we only do like about a half hour these days, John. So we should put a bow on this thing. Oh no way. Okay. Yeah, I we know. We put a pin in that. Now we're putting a bow on the whole thing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, fair enough. I didn't know we only did half an hour. No. I would I would have shut up and let it roll. <laughs> I interrupted too much. I Next. apologize. I accept. Justin. I will all. Oh, sorry. You, I know I have, I have one more question. Because you just oh, started yeah. singing. There, yep. you, you were Lessons, you, never. You sang a song yeah. on humor resources. I did. Oh, yes. That I saw on Instagram. There's a whole music video. Correct. Thank you for it bringing this played, up. It got played. And I want to remind you of one thing uh, that I always love to bring up between you and me. We both are dads, yes. teachers, yes. moms, nurses, sister, one sister, Allison. Yes. Yes. Does this That's ring a right. bell? Yes, yeah, of course. We yeah. have that in common. Um what the hell was I just saying? I didn't know we had that. I know what you're about to say, though. You're about to say my sister was a radio show in Canada, played our song on satellite radio. But w wait a minute. That's what you, I was going to say. You, you have a sister named Allison? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, I'm sorry. I did forget that. Yeah, you did forget that. Yeah, I'll, no, I know, I'll I know. remind you next year, too. You're going to have to. Yeah. 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 For a lot of reasons. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Allison. I've done a number on my brain. I, uh, here's what I remember. I remember... Uh, I know when I come to Minneapolis, I feel good, and the energy here is fun. Yeah. Um, most names, completely forgotten. Most experiences, barely remembered. But generally speaking, I know this is good. Oh. <laughs> okay, so. Thank you. I don't know what any of that meant, <laughs> other than, um, 
Yeah, my sis. So uh, in in the show, we we love to promote this show. This character, I love to portray as well. So promoting the show is fun because we can be very creative and put out lots of videos on Instagram and Twitter at TV's John Door at TVS John Door no H. Uh. And so it's really fun to promote this character. And so I feel like I smell that already. I'm so sorry. And so one of the uh, one of, am I? And so one of the episodes, I'm singing a song while waiting on hold for a customer service representative, only to find out that the customer service representative overheard me singing the song. And he makes he makes me think that he enjoyed the song and wants to hear more of it and has these suggestions for me, only to find out he hated it and everyone is gathered around his desk laughing at me. And the song has ridiculously silly lyrics. And so the character in the show recorded the song professionally and made a music video out of it and released it on Instagram. And it's called Cool Morning Breeze. Cool Morning Breeze. Why don't we end the show with that song? Oh my goodness, do you have it handy to play? You've never sounded more Canadian. Um, I do. It yeah. is. It's already happening. My transition is already happening. Told you, eh? you, 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 you get that, you get that, uh, that geo blocker VPN, whatever it is. What is it? Yeah. Okay. VPN. There you go. Um, we could, I was going to say you could just, I could get it to you and then you could play it that way, but whatever, however you want to do Oh it. yeah. We could pop it in at the end. We could do that. But also, I mean, let's, we don't have to be ridiculous about it, but it is a very beautiful song. That's the thing that people are listening, like keep in mind. It's very moving and beautiful, and the video component is helpful, and you got to pay attention to the lyrics. Yeah, I yes, you do. And I have to tell you, John, that when I first... Morning in the afternoon And the wind chimes on the wall are lying still And insomniac sleeps underneath an overpass And my father's name is David, and that's true there's a cool morning breeze in the afternoon And the wind chimes on the wall are lying still They don't tell the truth An insomniac sleeps underneath an overpass Sleeps till noon And my mother's name is David, that's not true So